Oh, I'm full on Ingrams again. Oh my god. Oh well. This video is going to be a, you know, a package opening videos. So, let's see what we get, guys. A transaction to make, Guardian? Yo, that's a foul winter. No way, Nezrek. No way. Okay. So, basically, all these Ingrams are useless to me. I don't care what exotic I'm getting because I don't really care what I get. And, uh... It's getting really annoying having all full engrams, especially when they just decode automatically when I open them. So, boom. I was like, I can never collect. I surrender from my postmaster. This is, this is proof that I don't surrender. But I'm really just making this video because I want to show off what my vault looks like. So, let me just clean up real quick because I have a lot of stuff that I just got. I mean, I'm surprised how high star all these are. I want to see a 70. Oh my god. That's a juicer. But honestly, these rolls are really, really horrendous. I just don't care about any of these exotic. Because I have the roll I need. So it's like, eh. So, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I need to understand something here. If I go on patterns, and then I go on... G they removed it. I swear to god, this GL used to be craftable. I guess Bungie just took away their choice, I guess? So what I like to do when I'm in the vault- or in the tower and don't have anything to do, I'm just chilling. I like to go and just go around and collect all the engrams and stuff like that from, you know, the postmaster and all of them hoes. And that's really just how I keep keep all my stuff clean. So I have a few deep engrams probably because I haven't been there for a while. The only thing that I'm really upset about is the fact that they capped all engrams by 99. But luckily I've been keeping clean. Exotic? Oh, my game fucking imploded. No way! Ooh. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have more exotic engrams. My fault. Bungie, I have a few questions. Why do you guys have to cap us at everything, but you give us unbelievable amounts of material? Now, this is an exposure video of what my vault looks like, and I'm gonna start off with my inventory. So, I have a few raid banners, a little bit of legendary shards, some ascendant shards. I'm gonna show my dim vault in a little bit, but I wanna start off with this first. I got two more exotic engrams that I'm gonna open, and then I can go into my vault. I just want the 70 star roll. Oh my god. Bungie. What the fuck? Let me let me compare these to my actual Aeon Souls. I think it's time I upgrade. It's time I upgrade. It's been good. You've you've done a lot of work, but you're gone now. Fuck, I was full on ascending charts. No. And the reality of it is just, um, you just run out of material when you shouldn't because they cap you. So, you know, you saw how I just lost three Ascendant Shards. What I can do to make my life very simple is just do this. Oh, never fucking mind. This is awkward. Um, I'll just go do my Postmaster, I guess. I wanted to be, like, all flashy and just suddenly get three Ascendant Shards. But I guess that just doesn't work. Okay. Let me at least show you my vault now and st me stop babbling and just talking about shit. So my vault is, I would say it's alright. Some people might say it's a little bit messy, but I think it's pretty clean. I've tried to keep as much as I can. And you mostly notice that there's a lot of armor. So what I've tried to do is get at least one piece of each exotic armor. I don't have every single, and I'll show you that in a bit. But I'll try to keep... Every single piece of exotic armor and masked work them. Even if they're not the best rolls, I just need to have a rule that works with the build I have. Because as you can see, I have a lot of armor. And a lot of these stat rolls might seem really odd, but they work for what I'm doing. That's why I have so many helmets, for example, on my warlock. 
or arms, you know, whatever it may be. I don't have that many chess pieces, but I have a few. But that's at least why I have so many pieces of the same slot, because I need them for different different builds. But I've tried to keep every piece of exotic in the game, but this is at least all I can get. And over the years, I've collected a few sh few material. This is not a lot. I've seen a lot more. And 45,000 shards, 46,000 shards, it's not that much. Especially now you think about it. A lot of people have been using exploits and such to get high material. But I'd like to say most of my material are clean. Um, but let me get into my weapons. So, I tried to hide it from you. I tried to hide it from you. But I don't have a lot of crafted weapons you think but what i did i went into them and moved all my crafted weapons away so you guys don't see them but i have like three different types of aikilos smgs i used this until they nerfed it, and i started using this one instead because it just feels more consistent i made this when it first came out still what i think a smg should feel like i tried to collect most of the adept weapons there's only one adept weapon I've never got, and it's the Tomorrow's Answer, the rocket launcher. It's one of the best rockets in the game. And I keep this one mainly because it's my, my, my child, but this one is better. But the, this is my child, but this one is better, right? I can't get rid of pieces like that. And this is like the best fusion rifle in the LFR, that's ARC in my opinion. And uh, I don't really know what to tell you. if. Like, there is a lot of stuff in my vault that I can show off, but I just don't know what to show. Because most of the weapons you see here just doesn't get used. That's just the reality of it. I just don't use the weapons I get. Because I just like to play with certain weapons. But I like to keep a lot of variety in case I feel like playing with, you know, a Supremacy one day. Or, you know, Spare Ration to a 120 round Robin. You never know. And I've always tried to get, like, very goofy rolls like this. Kill clip, moving target, or kill clip auto-loading doesn't really work, but kill clip moving target is cool. So basically, whenever I reload, after I get a kill, I can body shot people in PvP with it. Or this thing, the elemental capacitor overflow. Everyone told me this thing is just bad because it has, it doesn't have, like, you know, quick draw snapshot or whatever, but this is the the role I'm after on this Hankin. If I go on Void, you can see what I'm talking about. I would play this thing with Void because it gets so much stability. It's going to feel really, really good. And it has a perfect recoil direction for a 120. And except for that, this thing is just really good. It has a really good range stat. I can't get higher. I can't make it max if I want to. And then I keep treasure pieces like my Felwinter because I really love this shotgun. I just wish it had a little bit more handling. Because honestly, the stats on this thing is dog shit, but it's such a nice shotgun. But let me drop the bomb. And now, if you paid attention, there's a lot of weapons that suddenly came out of nowhere. My vault increased a little bit, but, you know, it's not too much. Oh, that's a bad page. But basically, what I'm trying to say is, all of these weapons are weapons I crafted, but I just never cared to use to level up. It's like... Bungie gives us all these cool guns, but it's like, I'm never gonna use this. It's cool to have the god roll of every single weapon in the game, but this thing I just haven't mastered because I had a real work. I'm not gonna lie. But you know, and this is the Trials Glaive, which is really, like, the Trials Glaive. Who wants to, who's gonna use this? I just didn't get a good roll of it, I guess. But like this thing, I want to use it. I've tried to use it, but it just, it's so bad for what I want to use it for. This thing, I, I just don't have the material like getting my hands on enough to send an ally to get every single weapon in the game is a little bit tedious in my opinion and it's like i want to use this thing in pvp but i just don't want to level it up again it's just really annoying what bungie should do instead give us double slot slots here so i don't have to have two different weapons for the same purpose or the same weapon for two, diff two different purposes it's like, I want this one thing for PvE so I can use it in raids, but I want to have this thing in PvP because it's funny. And it's like, these weapons I just never cared too much about, so I just don't use them enough. And that's, that's just what happens. I think the crafting system is a little bit goofy. I like it. I just wish it never was there. That's my honest opinion. I just wish the crafting system was never there. 
And on top of that, I wish Bungie never removed all the sunset weapons. You have like Midnight Coop, Alone is a God, uh, Mountain Top, which I have in my vault. I don't have a lot of sunset weapons because I got rid of all of them when they sunset everything. Because I thought, this is going to be useless for all time because I can't use it in Trials and Trials is the only thing I play. So I just got rid of them. I got rid of my original spare ration, my original, you know, everything that got sunset basically. So I can't really show you and prove to you that I used them before, but spare used to be my most used tank in uh, of all time. I had a few thousand kills on it, but now this is my thing. This is my spare. I have the Ostringer. This thing feels amazing. The DFA, it's a good handkin, but it's just not my type of beat. I'm going to be honest. I'm not a fan of time payload. My Rose, I know the stat range on this thing is a horrendous, but I love this thing so much. It feels so good. And uh, let me let me do this instead so it makes it easier for everyone. This is my vault, I'm pretty sure. Let me refresh to make sure. Double check. I don't actually have anything about the characters that any, serves any purpose. So I can't really say anything. But I have almost 500 slots taken and my inventory is basically full. I wish my inventory didn't have such a big issue with raid banners. Because, you know, I kind of just said, fuck it. Today we buy raid banners and fill up our whole inventory. And, oh boy, I regret that. But, you can see how I like, like to keep my armor. All the armor I don't use doesn't have any sockets on them. And, etc, etc. But, for, like, let's, let's look here. And this is all of the weapons I've crafted with a Trials Memento on it. And you can see how many of these weapons are now level 30 yet. Like, this is level 1, 10... Okay, of course, the weapons that I do use, you're going to see, like, 84, but then you have 11, 11, 31, uh, actually, 30, 9, 19, 20, 5, 20, 25, 22, 11, 23, 15, 24, 28. And now let's look at all the weapons I have crafted in total. It's... The Trost Mementos take up the majority of them. Like, to be real. That's just how it is. And like, I can go through my weapons. I have this thing, zero power. This. I got this from the... Zer, I think. Steady Hand. I want a slide iron gaze one and I want to use one for a video so please hit me up if you have one. I really need to, to show this thing off to the class. I have the scholar adept. It's vorpal full auto which is really useless nowadays but it's cool to have. Um, I have the messenger adept. This is my favorite role of all time on this thing. I wish I had like ricochet rounds it would have made it better but I don't. This thing is for what I used for my div swaps. I would get a kill with my div and then I would two tap the next target. I know, it's really goofy. You have my Peace Bond, the Swash Rangefinder one. This thing is a menace in PvP. This thing is really bad because it doesn't have the range it needs, but it's it's alright. My Multimac. Loud Lullaby. I don't even know why I keep this anymore. It's kind of useless. I don't know why I have this. I don't use this whatsoever, but it's a really good gun to use in PvP. This is just a better version of Hung Jury. I'm not going to lie to you. The Glissandro. The Fatebringer Time Lost. I, I never really played that much in that period when that thing was on top of the world. My Eye of Soul Adept. I always loved Eye of Soul, but I got rid of it because, you know, a clarity and all of that stuff. But I just never cared to use it ever since I got the new one. And you're going to see the, the theme on a lot of weapons. I loved my Summoner back in the day, but I just never used it once I got my new clarity version. That's just better. Same with my, oh no, no, Igneous Hammer never had it, but I, my Igneous Hammer that I used had Rampage on it, so I never actually used this one a lot. And to be honest, I just don't am the biggest fan of Igni at the moment, but that might change in the future, and if it does, you're going to see a video on it. <laughs> this thing is like dog shit, I don't even know why I have it. My favorite Hankin, no it's not, I think Spare Ration is my favorite Hankin of all time. D1 is nostalgic, but it's like, it's meh. Anyone who played 
during this time knows why I'm showing this and not saying anything about it. And my found verdict, my found, uh, that's the wrong found verdict. My found verdict, my found verdict is it's all right. It's not the perfect role and I still want to get a perfect role, but I just can't. I just can't. This is the one I used back in the day. I have 3000 kills on this thing. It's a really bad role for handling wise, but you know, Ophidian Aspects fixes a lot of stuff. Uh, this thing, Forgiveness, I used to have a different role and I love this thing. This thing feels so good. This thing feels really good. I'm just not a slug type of person anymore. My, my foul, my <laughs> chaperone phase is over. Well, I don't really want to sit here and show you every single piece of weapon in my vault. I kind of just want to give you the gist of it. This thing, I always had hopes for aggressive frame shotguns, but it's like, I kind of just fell into the same pool as everyone else and started using, where is it? I started using Matador. Matador just feels really good for me right now. And, because uh, it just has perfect stats for no reason. For, for no reason this thing should have such good stats as it does. But I really love Falwinter. Great shotgun. Absolutely amazing. Now, let me show you this instead. My exotic collection. What is this? Anyone knows what this is? I have no clue what this is. But... I've tried to get most of the exotics in the game. I can't really call myself a PvE player anymore, but I tried to get them. I'm just missing the fucking Arc Glaive for Hunter. And whatever the fuck this is. And then for Warlock, I haven't gotten the new exotics yet for Warlock. I haven't gotten this, whatever this is. And I haven't gotten th th this thing. Uh, what even is this? And this thing, whatever this is. Oh, I need to get my hands on this one. Never mind. I just realized what that thing does again. But yeah, that's basically my vault. Now, let me know what you guys think if I should get rid of some stuff. Because my vault is pretty messy, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, if you like this video, uh, you know, drop a like, maybe even subscribe. I love you all of you, and I'll see you guys around. Goodbye.